photographer based in Manila, Philippines, and most of the videos I do are about thrifting, ukay ukay, vintage things, um, everything old and um, secondhand. So if you like those kinds of things, um, I think you'll enjoy this video because today I'm going to be showing you my closet. Um, a number of you have been asking what my closet looks like or how I store my things because I do buy a lot of things online, like IG thrift stores, but most especially physical ukay ukays and flea markets. So I really did need this space to store my things. I use them both in real life and also in the photo shoots that I do. So anytime I have an idea or if I want to shoot something, I can just pull stuff out of my closet and I'm ready to shoot. I think I'm just making an excuse for why I needed this space, but it wasn't actually here in the first place. This was just a roof area, it was just a space, so it was there untouched maybe since the 90s. When I got that many clothes and I was starting to need more space, it just so happened that we saw this because we checked the ceiling for a leak and we saw that this was empty and we decided to make it into a closet. So it's kind of rough around the edges, we kind of DIY'd stuff and we worked with just two or three carpenters on it. So you're gonna see like nails and stuff here and there, but I think it really serves its purpose. So the closet doesn't really have a theme or a Pinterest board. The way this space evolved was mainly through extra furniture we had laying around. Most of my furniture comes from Bunkal or Facebook Marketplace and the things that were taking up too much space around the house we decided to put in here and I think it's been working out pretty well. Everything in here serves a purpose or two. Um, don't be fooled. All these walls are actually doors and the clothes are hidden in there. And if you're wondering what the, where the shoes are, they're also hidden way, way back there. So you're gonna see it's kind of a struggle um, getting clothes out, but I really love this space. I'm here all the time. I sleep here, I work here. I've just made it a very inspiring area to be in all the time. And let's get started. We're gonna start with my bag storage. And I do have two videos on my bag collection. I have, yeah, part one and part two of my bag collection. I'm gonna leave the link up here and also down below if you want a more in-depth um, look into my bag collection, but this is basically where I store mo uh, most of them. This is an IKEA bookshelf and I opted to get it without the doors, um, even though I know it would have been preferable because it's very dusty in here, but if I don't have my bags out or if I don't have my things out, I probably won't use them, so I figured um, it's better that they're all out in the open. And I did try to arrange them by color, but I figured it would be better if I just arranged them by height. So I'm going to start with the top shelf. I have a mixture of vintage bags, vintage designer bags, non-designer vintage bags, and pieces um, made here in the Philippines. So I'm going to start with those. All these bags are from local brands. Uh, these th four are from Catre. So those are leather camera bags, camera style bags. And I use these all the time. If you look through my Instagram account, my wardrobe account, I use these a few times a month. They're very practical. I'm a photographer, so I always need my hands free to work. So I love having camera bags. I guess that's why they call them camera bags. Maybe not. But yeah, I do love having these around me. And then these are my mom's bags from the 90s. I showed them in my vintage bag collection video. These are Esprit bags, very durable. And then these are clutches. Um, I found most of these in thrift stores um, here and abroad. Whenever I go abroad, I make sure I thrift and I always come back with either a bag or like a sack of clothes. I always have to have something from trips. And this is a pretty special one. I like this. It's a bag. Um, it's a clutch from the 70s. It's a little fragile, but I, I keep it here. Nothing fits in it, but I like to have it around. And then on the second shelf, we have more vintage bags and also a few current ones. Um, I'm just going to pull out a few in no particular order. I love this. This is a fossil bag that I found on eBay. This is a 
Prada bag that I found on Carousel. And then this is a vintage Gucci bag. This bag I really love. It was given to me by my great aunt um, back in college. It used to be a dark brown and now it's faded, but I use it when I travel because it's a convertible bag. You can make it a backpack or a sling. More vintage bags, another vintage Gucci bag, my Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, hotel series bags, another vintage Gucci bag. This is a vintage Celine. Um, it's very dusty because they don't get much use. And then I have a vintage Dear Clutch. This was 300 pesos from an IG store, and it really looks like a Celine bag. So, yeah, you can really find great things online and secondhand. This is the only section of my closet where the clothes are out in the open. Everything else is tucked safely inside the cabinets. I love wearing jackets and blazers no matter what the weather is. Um, so even if I'm shooting outdoors or if I'm shooting in a studio, I kind of always have to have a blazer or jacket of some sort. And I really love collecting them. As you can see, I have more in another room and in storage. But I do have some favorites that I'm going to be showing you. This is August. August wears a bow tie every single day of the week. I'm going to show you the denim jackets first. These are all vintage jackets. Uh, some belong to my mom or my brother. I don't think you can have too many <laughs> denim jackets. They're all different washes and kind of different fits, so I always feel like I'm making an excuse to buy more vintage uh, denim jackets. Whatever fits here is what I'm gonna wear for the meantime and then when I'm done I change storage and then I refresh them with new blazers. By the way, everything has been thrifted. There's only one blazer in here that was kind of brand new and it was actually given but everything else here um, was thrifted or was from a flea market and it's just great because you don't really see anyone else wearing the same thing. This one I <laughs> I remember I found this in uh, Sydney. Oh, wow, cat fur. Um, Tuesday, the cat likes to sleep on top of this. Um, but it's a vintage Celine blazer. It fits perfectly in a size 40. Uh, this one was used in a shoot, and then the stylist told me I could have it because I kept going on and on about how very retro it was. I'm gonna insert a picture of our shoot here. And then a couple of these are from IG thrift stores. This one I thrifted in Mahati Square. This one is a very special blazer. It was given to me by Miss Portia of PICC. It belonged to her late grandfather. And we happen to be the same size, so I'm very thankful for this blazer. Here are just more brown blazers. This one I found on FE Marketplace. It's one of my most used blazers. This one I found in Mahati Square. I use that all the time. This is the only blazer here that uh, wasn't thrifted or vintage. This is from H&M. They gave me a couple of pieces from their Autumn Winter 2018 collection. I also have a video for that, which we're gonna link down there. I want to show you this. It's a cardigan with, I guess, beetles on it. I really like it because I have tattoos of two beetles on me, so <laughs> I had to mind that. I mind it from SSSS Ukai on Instagram. Check her out. She's great. This is where I store my trousers. Same concept as the blazers. I really try to rotate them. Um, I have another bin that's in storage. These are the ones I want to use for the meantime. I don't know if you can tell, but I like my colorful pants. Um, if I can't think of something to wear, but I still want to make it look fun, I think you can go with colorful pants. Because it's pretty common to go with like a colorful, loud, floral print blouse um, and paired with jeans like I feel like that's um, a pretty simple thing to do but when you wear colorful pants for some reason I just feel like it's more fun so this is my little collection I'm gonna show you some special ones I think this was one of my latest acquisitions if you may um, a pair of vintage pants wide leg super high waist in pristine condition um, mined on Glorious Diaz. Actually, this vintage Terry dress is also from Glorious Diaz. I tend to buy a lot of things from that Instagram store because it has so much history and culture and the owner Jody is such a fun, intelligent, talented person. You should go check out Glorious Diaz. Here, I have to show you the top later, but this was mined on Thrifted by Grey. You're gonna see, again, a recurring theme within my wardrobe. It's very 60s and 70s, if you haven't guessed already. 
And if you see any dust, I'm really sorry. It's just so dusty in here, but I don't have the heart to cover these up um, with uh, garment bags. Some of these pants I've had for many years. I think I thrifted this back in 2013. Some I buy on eBay um, abroad. So if it's the US or the UK, I just really have them shipped because I like them that much. Um, I wore these to my book launch, high-waisted bell-bottoms. <laughs> I try to organize them by color. Here are the really, really loud pants from various sources, from Carousel, eBay, Etsy. This is my beloved wall of jeans, and this is really what it looks like most days. It always has to be somewhat fixed or like as straight as it can be um, because they're all different. Um, cut so I can't fold them exactly the same way, but this is pretty much how I store my jeans or the ones that I want to wear maybe for the year. I have up here the white jeans. I have a lot of them, but I assure you they're all different cuts and lengths. So yeah, I can't really get rid of any of them. I wear them all. I just keep bags up here that need to be in their dust bags and it doesn't bother me because they're kind of the same color as the pants so it still looks rather uniform. Down here I have, I love my corduroy as you can see. The reds, I also have some red velvet ones here. These are vintage men's Levi's jeans. Um, I keep men's sizes also because I also have to dress up guys once in a while so I, I keep like a number of different sizes. And then down here I try to organize them by wash but also by brand or by date. So here are the lighter wash Levi's jeans and then over here are the regular wash um, Levi's and these are the, most of them are the current ones but I have some vintage ones like these orange tabs. So here we have more vintage jeans. This I found on eBay. Fits so well. Gap, vintage Gap jeans. Um, this one I mined on Abai Jessica Sootan. Did I mine it or did she give it to me? I think this was a gift from Abai Jessica Sootan. I think she knows I like my super high waist mom jeans. Another pair of Gap blue jeans. I've been wearing this pair since 2010, I believe. Maybe 2011. Basically lookbook days. If any of you, of you are familiar with lookbook, I've had this pair since before I was on lookbook and I still wear them now um, because they fit really, really well. Super high waist. How many times have I said high waist in this video? Down here are the blues, basically. I found no other way to organize them. I didn't want to put these on hangers because they might be too heavy. This I found in Tokyo, this pair. Let me take it out for you because it's really pretty. I think I found this in Harajuku. This pair I found in Melbourne. I think it was a consignment store. I was very happy to find that. And then everything else that won't fit on this shelf, I also keep in bins. And I put them in my online closet sales um, because I really have too many pairs, I guess. It's hard to admit, but I have to let go of some sometimes uh, to make way for new ones. And I am now going to show you the contents of my wardrobe. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections. I'm only going to show you around six because the two are for general storage, so nothing interesting in there. It's like stuff I'm about to sell or clothes that I haven't sorted yet. So I'm going to take you through this one. Welcome to the least utilized. No, I guess. Welcome to the least used um, part of my clothes storage. These are the shorts and the skirts. Because of the kind of work I do, it's hard for me to wear shorts or skirts. But I still keep a good number. I use them mainly for shoots. A lot of them have retro prints because I like to do a lot of 1960s or 1970s inspired things. So I love my retro prints and patterns and the colors, um, as you can see, are always very warm. These are the shorts. I used to have a lot of denim shorts, but now I only have two because I, I really don't wear them enough um, for me to justify keeping them. So that's enough for me. These are pretty cute. Polka dot. And then a big floral print, 
this is the black and white section, mostly the white and the creams. I only have a few black pieces in my wardrobe, I think. Um, it's this and a couple of polos, but basically a lot of white lace and vintage, a mix of vintage, retro things. I've tried to trim down. Every time I see a lacy white thing, I can't help myself. Like, I sort of have to buy it. I remember doing an IG story, I'm like, I have too many white things, so I have to let some go. This I found in an uke. I have a lot of these, and I keep them because they're very Rolling Stones. I'm a big fan of their fashion. I would dress like Brian Jones half of the time if I could. This is a piece that has been used in two music videos, and I think um, one other shoot. So this was used by Rob uh, Daniel in his Ulap music video and also by Zild in our Ibang Planeta music video and they were styled differently so you really can't tell that it's the same blazer. These cropped numbers I found in a kilo shop in Paris. Uh, I don't know if they're costumes or if they're part of a costume but they're great because they're cropped and they're really flattering on. I have a thing for tote bags, um, canvas tote bags. I can't get enough of them. This is a local label. This is the convertible bag from Our Recess. So it's a backpack and it's also a pouch. Um, and then down here, I just have my white leather vintage bags. I don't have many white bags because I would get them dirty. So this is, I guess, the centerpiece of my closet. It faces the door directly. This is the mother load of retro prints. I have more in the other section, but this part is specifically for button downs. Printed button downs, long sleeve, um, all long sleeve. I love my long sleeve things. And we have the entire rainbow. <laughs> Black and peaches, uh, mint greens, retro greens, blue greens, blue, purples. Um, magenta, red, they sort of like merge and mix but I kind of know where everything is and then actually sometimes I look for something and then I forget I sold it so that's kind of sad sometimes. Uh, I just think you know they're happy with their new owners or their new homes. It's really hard to let go of things you know but I need to um, because currently nothing else would fit. I don't think it can take one more hanger so I'm gonna have to clear these out again for hopefully another closet sale. Um, this was uh, thrifted for me by our dear friend Jones. Jones Palteng. He's a slasher, basically a photographer, a stylist, an editor. He facilitated a retreat the other day, so he does everything. Jones is the jack of all trades. He's also really great at thrifting, and I always tell him, if anything should ever happen to me, he will be in charge of my wardrobe because like, he knows how attached I am to my things. I think I thrifted this in 2013 or 2012. It was this sole top that inspired a whole shoot of mine. It was a 70s themed shoot. At that time, I was just starting to do a lot of my retro themed shoots and it turned out great. I think the colors really made it feel like it was from that decade. And that's really how I do a lot of my shoots. And I think I see a piece of clothing or a garment in the ukai. Just like that, you have a story in mind. So that's why I love clothes a lot. So these are all from IG thrift shops. This has cat prints. This one has these vintage like 1930s, 1940s or art deco drawings. This is like pop art. I would wear this with mustard pants. This one has more fashion illustrations. So yeah, that's a theme. If there's one thing I like better than button-down retro polos, it would have to be my turtlenecks and my other colorful long sleeve things. I really like turtlenecks, I like wearing them. I also wear a lot of long sleeve things because um, I like to protect um, my, my tattoos, so that's why I'm always wearing long sleeves. But this is where I keep um, a combination of my short sleeved stuff both um, button-down or collared and just normal round neck blouses. This, for example, 
um, was very kindly sent to me by someone. She messaged me on Instagram and said that they were trying to distribute belongings of a family member who had passed. She gave me a couple of the items and I'm very thankful that she entrusted me with these pieces. I think they're from the 70s. They happen to fit perfectly, so I really appreciate that. The turtlenecks start right about here. I also have another current piece, but I also got it secondhand. This one is a piece from Saturday by Megan Ellaby. She's a UK-based fashion blogger, and she has her own line of retro clothing. Sometimes if I'm need in, in need of like color inspiration or print-on-print -print inspiration, I go to her YouTube channel. Here are just really fun turtlenecks and knits, often far too hot to wear, <laughs> but I, I keep them anyway. Like I shoot in studio so it gets cold. I got this one because it says Jacko and Jacko Pastorius, the great bassist. This is one of my favorite finds, I think. Was this Mahati Square? Yeah, this Mahati Square. This one is one of my most used knits. I wear this personally and it's also been in probably three or more shoots. It was also worn for my book. Four of Spades have worn it. It's been used a lot of times in shoots because it lends itself very well to 70s colors and themes. And here I just have a rainbow of very colorful, fun, fun knits. And I don't know what to wear and I know it's gonna be cold in the studio. I just close my eyes and pick something out and I have an outfit. And this is where I keep my black bags and my black shoes. So here are my most used um, black bags. Both can fit my 13 inch laptop. Here I have just my yellow vintage bags. This is a vintage um, Gucci. This is a vintage Loewe. I think I've started to collect vintage Loewe bags. And then this is one of my most used bags. I found this in Perth. Uh, my Perth haul is up. I really want to show you this section. It's just hard to see because everything is black. From what you can gather down here, it's a lot of boots. It's all black boots. I've started to collect loafers. These are just awesome. I, I thought at first they would be hard to wear because of the stars, but they're surprisingly very manageable and I just wear them with browns or plain things or solid colors. I got this in the rainbow and in white and in red and in plain black. What else do I have? Yeah, that's pretty much my mini collection. Maybe just a pair of boots. In the interest of space, I crammed two boots into this box, um, but they're from the same brand. These are embroidered suede boots. I've only used them for photos, really, so these might go into my closet still. These cow print boots are just so fun. I'd wear that with, hmm, I think even jeans would be enough. Um, because it's such a statement piece. I can't believe I still have a voice after talking this long, but we are now in the section that houses my t-shirts and my vests, my sleeveless stuff. So a lot of these are from Ukai and also IG Thrift. Knitted vests, normal vests, and then you just have like random things. This is from a Baijo's Kasipatan. This is from the Clutterist Manila. This was from eBay. It's a set from the 70s. This was a 35 or 25 peso vest um, from Ukai. More great uh, retro pieces, like so. This one, I remember, I think it was a feature for Preview magazine and I had to style like six different outfits. And I wore this with a little skirt and um, like a blouse with a pussy bow. This was a hand-me-down from one of our makeup artists. I think this used to belong to her grandma back in the day. And she gave me this and a number of other pieces because her grandma was like a fashionista. This one I love. This I mined on Thrifted by Grey and it was worn by Zill for some of his promo materials for his album. And then t-shirts. I have, I'd say, one sixteenth of um, this section is just four of spades shirts. So these are crop white tops when I am in a hurry and I don't know what to wear. I know that sounds kind of weird having so many clothes, but when I don't know what to wear, I wear a crop top, high waist jeans, and then I go wild on the boots. Um, a shirt that I wear a lot also, this was also 100 pesos. This is from Cultura. And this is Manila. I like it because of the colors. This is my Florence of the Machine shirt. Um, good old Playboy 
I have a couple of these from Float Swim, they say Manila Girl. I guess this is just a section of my band merch. This is St. Vincent. Vintage shirts, Harley Davidson tees. Four spades, four spades, four spades, four four spades. Vintage shirt. This is another local brand, this is Randolph. Since these are casual pieces, I also put my casual bags here, so these are what I usually use um, when traveling because they're lightweight. Headband bags are great for traveling. This is from eBags. It's great. You can put your umbrella here and your water here. We have a pink one. We have an all-leather one. This one I found on eBay. Like, I'm not sure if you can find this here. Um, really old blue ones. And then I have, um, I think this is my only pair of phasias. I forgot what this is called, but it's the one with the Velcro strap. So aside from the loafers, it's also where I keep my close toe shoes and my mules. Um, this is a pair from Jeffrey Campbell. These are Adidas Forum Lows. Basically the one and only time Facebook has ever gotten me to buy something from an ad. Uh, I saw this appear on my homepage. And the rest is history. I love them though. Super comfortable and I love the color green. This I mined on twice but nice gauge. Furry with stars. Again, reminds me of Elton John, um, a style icon. And yeah, um, which reminds me I have to wear these. This is the last section I'm going to be showing for the clothes. This is going to be a short one. This is actually my sorting closet and also my bambahai closet. So I donated basically all of my bambahai, like my shorts and um, my t-shirts, like all of them are gone. So what I wear at home are vintage dresses. So if you see me mining on different IG shops and wondering why I have to mine so many dresses, number one, they're great for shoots, and number two, they're also great as bambahai. So, I mean, this is really honestly what I wear. This is basically a dump. So if I have new stuff that comes in, I put them in here and then I sort them later on. And then deeper down in here are my pambahais and they're sorted by sleeves. So all my short sleeved um, pambahais are here, arranged by color, and then they get longer. If you noticed, all of my um, cabinet doors have these installed. I got them from Ace inside the SM store and then I just screwed them on myself. That's pretty easy. These are my most used belts. They're all vintage and thrifted and they're all uh, real leather. Inside, like all the other cabinet or closet spaces, are my open-toed sandals or shoes. Those get the least wear from me because I really don't like wearing open-toed things. I think it's from my work. I am always um, scared that equipment will fall on my feet or someone will step on me so I try to avoid wearing open-toed things. Now I'm gonna show you my dresser and I've shot a couple of my um, you, more than a couple of my YouTube videos over here and this dresser was a birthday gift um, a couple of years ago. It was found in Bangkal like most of our stuff. I love it because it resembles one that Jane Birkin used to use. So she had a photo with a dresser that was similar to this. But the setup changes quite a bit, depending on what I'm feeling. So now it only has this coffee mug. I found this. It says, hello, my name is none of your business. I found this in a store called Typo. My dear St. Vincent merch. This is the ball pit. And if you must see my lipstick collection, it's in here. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's a problem, but I get a lot of lipstick because I shoot for most of the brands that are in here. Down here are my hair things and my travel perfume things. This I found in Bangka. Um, these brushes I found at an estate sale. And then in here I have a nice display of miniature perfumes. The cutest um, lipsticks, um, those were given to me by Hermes. I keep them in there because they're just so pretty. Right colors. Here in the perfume section, August is here too. Well, August is there. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I keep on top of the bookshelf that holds my perfumes. And this is a catch-all. This I found while I was cleaning our things. I think it's from the 80s, so this really belonged to us 
like from decades ago. It's, I guess, a dessert holder. It works well when I just want to dump my rings and earrings or whatever um, I'm wearing for the day because I tend to wear a lot of things on my hands. Disposable camera. Film that needs to be developed. I go to Fuji Film in Megamall. This one I found in Bangkal as well. It's a vintage mirror and it's very heavy. And before I show my perfumes, I'm going to show you some of my glasses. So this is where I keep the tinted glasses, or the ones that aren't sunglasses sunglasses. Most of them are from Sunny's um, Specs or Sunny Studios. Some I found again in thrift shops or ukai ukais, and then I remove the lenses because most of them are prescription glasses for some reason, so I just take those off so I can wear them. This is the Dom. Love this look. Uh, tinted yellowish brown, like a sepia color. And then when I don't want so much color, but I still want a frame. Love those. And now, we go to the perfumes. These are the perfumes that are currently um, in rotation. I have a separate storage for the other perfumes. I try to use them all. So every day I try to wear a different perfume, or even if I'm not going anywhere. Honestly, if I'm not going anywhere, that's where I wear more perfume because I'm not scared um, someone's gonna get dizzy or think my perfume is too much. So when I'm just here, I, I really like bathe myself with perfume. I try to arrange them by perfume house. Here are the YSLs and then the Dior's. I have Midnight Poison, I have um, Hypnotic Poison, like the old bottle, um, Miss Dior Cherie. This is kind of my Guerlain section. I think their perfumes work well with me. Shalimar I love, but no one else seems to like it, so I only wear it when I'm by myself. I am almost out of my Mon Guerlain. This is a flanker. This is Bloom of Rose. But my ultimate favorite is the Mon Guerlain um, Eau de Parfum. This is my airport scent. So yeah, that's kind of an overview of my perfume collection. And finally, I'm going to take you to my sunglasses section before I walk you out the door. As I was reviewing the footage, I forgot that I had missed one of the most interesting parts of my wardrobe. Uh, this is where I keep most of my vintage dresses. These are the full-length ones. I don't know if I should show you the dresses one by one. Um, what should I show you? Maybe... Hmm... Um, well, maybe this one. I wore this to the preview Best Dressed event back in 2017. I had a little feature inside the magazine, wearing all vintage and ukai, of course. Thanks to IG thrift stores, it's been easier to find vintage dresses, so I haven't been buying from Etsy or eBay as much. There are great stores, um, such as Something Pretty by Ate Jenny. That's where I got this dress that I made Reese wear, uh, Reese Lansang and wear for her Time Well Spent album. I also made her wear this. Um, if you go to my um, Instagram wardrobe account and click on my following, you're going to see a lot of awesome um, Instagram thrift stores. And I really try my best not to buy everything I see. Um, honestly, I only get to wear long dresses when I'm not working or when there are events. Yeah, it's pretty packed, so I won't attempt to do this with one hand. Although, if you want me to do a vintage dress collection, actually, I'm not sure how that's going to be possible because, I, as you can see, I have a lot of dresses, but I can probably show my favorite vintage dresses in another video. But there, that's how I um, store my vintage uh, dresses. And then up there, you can buy these on Lazada. Um, extra storage. Um, my steamer is up there. And then I have like anti-back. So the dresses are pretty safe in here. And of course I have my Mexico wall. Congratulations, we have reached the last part of my closet tour. This is my... what shall I call it? Um, rather unsightly eyeglass um, or sunglass storage, but I found that it's the most efficient way for me to use my eyeglasses or my sunglasses. I used to keep them in their like little pouches inside drawers and I couldn't remember um, what I had. Wanting to use them all, I decided to display them all out here 
and it's honestly not the prettiest thing. <laughs> some of them are vintage, some of them I found online, and then a lot of these um, glasses. So I find these in Ukai Ukai's, also in Bunkal thrift shop. Um, tip when you go to the thrift shop, always look inside their glass display cases. Like if you see a bubot, I'm sure you're gonna find glasses in there. More <laughs> uh, retro glasses. Um, I love this shape, very 70s shape. And then one of my most used um, eyeglass, sunglass uh, styles. It's more like a tinted one. These are the Colettes from Sunny Studios. Um, yeah, I really like how they look on me, so that's my most worn pair. I got two of them just in case something happens to the other one. I also sold, I guess, half. Um, I mean, I used to have twice the number of these. Look. concludes my closet tour. I had a lot of fun going through my closet and making sure that everything's in order. I hope you enjoyed as well. I will link my Instagram accounts, especially my wardrobe account, so you can see most of like the outfits I put together with everything you've seen in here. And if there's anything specific you want to see or anything um, you want me to talk more in depth about, um, just let me know. I will be happy to do that for you. And that's August the Cat. Um, letting me know that it's time to end this video. <laughs> yes, August, we are, we are done. So <laughs> that wraps it up for me and, and August. Uh, we will see you in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks, thanks August. <laughs>